all. Today we're going to be looking at a question from the Family Nurse Practitioner Question Bank. So I'll go over ahead and read the question for us. So a 69-year-old African-American male presents for a well visit. He takes a torvastatin for dyslipidemia, he takes HCTZ, and also enalapril. Um, this is for hypertension. He does not drink and he quit smoking 10 years ago. He reports some difficulty getting moving. He has uh, joint stiffness occasionally. Otherwise, he feels well. Um, he has no history of abdominal surgeries. He had a colonoscopy one year ago. Otherwise, you know, his exam is normal, but you feel a pulsatile peri-umbilical non-reducible mass. So it asks, what screening tests would you run on this patient? Um, the options are x-ray, Doppler ultrasound, CT scan, or an abdominal ultrasound. So the correct answer here is an abdominal ultrasound. And so we'll just do a little discussion about why that is. So this is part of the US um, Preventive Task Force guidelines. And so the US uh, PSDF puts out guidelines for screening for all kinds of different um, diseases and children and adults. This is a specific guideline that's recommendation for screening for an abdominal aortic aneurysm. And so when you feel a pulsatile non-reducible mass in the abdomen, you immediately think that's, that's what this could be, a triple A um, or abdominal aortic aneurysm. And so in men age 65 to 75 who have ever smoked um, anywhere, you know, over the last hundred years, if they've ever smoked, um, this is a guideline recommendation that you do screen them at least once during that um, time from 65 to 75 and that would be using an abdominal ultrasound. So basically the screening is done and recommended because um, about 7% of individuals over 50 have an aortic, abdominal aortic aneurysm and so you wanna make sure that they are identified, that they're smaller than the size at which they can become dangerous. Um, generally, you know, most of those are that you find are gonna be less than three and a half centimeters. Those are stable when you follow up they haven't changed at all, but the um, you know the concern is that you find a larger one that may be unstable and there's a risk for rupture, which has a really high high mortality rate. So that's why they recommend screening for it in that age group. So um, the strongest predictor for whether um, one of these will rupture is the diameter. So when you do the ultrasound, you're looking for anything that's over five and a half centimeters. If it is, then you'd want to refer to a surgeon. And so that's pretty much the discussion for this one question. <laughs>